Okay, guys, thank you for joining us. Well, me, I'm going to take you to the Delaware Valley Farm and Garden Store, which is, I believe it's still Agway. I don't know if you have Agways by you or you don't. I don't even know where they stop and where they end. But we're going to go there. I'm going to take you along on the ride. And... I don't know, it's about 20 or so minutes from my home. And you'll see some of the countryside here as we drive along these long and winding roads that lead to the farm and garden store. So we're just driving along here. Probably going to be speeding this up. Might be on double time, so I'm really not going that fast, okay? And I apologize for my dirty windshield profusely. I feel like Save Robbie. He must be just flipping out at my dirty windshield. But what can I do, right? It's only so many hours in a day. I didn't realize how dirty it was until I played this back. All right, so we're driving through this farmland, flights of farms to the left, to the right, to the left, to the left. And cars passing us. They're probably coming from the farm and garden store. Now, I had dreams about turtles last night. It was really bizarre. We were standing on the edge of a road on a highway, Jimmy and I were. And there were two small turtles in the road, on the side of the road. It was the side of a highway. And the one turtle kept standing over the little turtle like its mother, right? But they, were, they weren't they were painted turtles. They had higher shells. They were more like a box turtle, almost like um, those fake turtles that you get. They have a really high shell. They're not snapping turtles. I said to Jimmy, oh, let's cake these. He said, okay. So I was getting a box or something, and then I was trying to think, okay, we'll need a separate tank for the mom and the baby. And then I looked over on the side, and there was another turtle, maybe a little bit larger with a higher shell. And then I woke up. Usually when I have dreams like that, I run into turtles. Well, I don't mean I run into turtles. I usually, it's something like I told you when we lost our cat, and we lost it for like a month, and then I had a dream that very day. I found the cat. Some things like that happen to me quite frequently. So I just felt like I was going to run into turtles today. And I did in the farm and garden store. So I thought that was interesting. Turtles. And we still have a way to go here. If you're sitting, you know, you know those things like those rides or something like virtual rides if you sit you really feel like you're in the car and you could get really like seasick if you're on a roller coaster and think you're on a roller coaster, especially if your chair is moving and stuff. Oh boy. Yeah, I have those stories to tell you about, but that's another video. I'm getting to sound like Joanne, right? That'll be in another video. Okay, so we're just riding along in our automobile. And I'm solo because the kids and Jimmy are swimming. But I had to go get these daisies because, well, let me tell you that I had a beautiful patch of these and then something happened and they died out and I put them in again maybe six, seven years ago. Beautiful patch of them. Well, the, the, the kind of the retaining rock wall had fallen on them and so covered them up and I could only see like two or three stems of them coming up. So I freaked out. I had a dream about them last night and I figured I had to go to the... Agway and get them because that's where I got them and I hope I got the right ones but because they don't look exactly the same but we'll see so we're driving around up oh, school bus what's school bus doing up shouldn't be a school bus part of the river to the side there rock walls over here whoops Jimmy's making a lot of noise and interrupting the video so we're driving up oh, my truck it could have been a Peterbilt. I don't know. I'm just, you know, semi-truck, right? 18-wheeler, right? Okay. And here we go. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. 
Okay, making the turn. A little construction going on here. Pepsi truck. Keep riding along, right? See all the construction. You'll see the lovely road conditions that we have here. And you'll understand that's why we pay such high taxes in New York because they take such impeccable care of the roads. We get so much for those high taxes that we pay. Oh, there goes Zoe. Kids are outside playing. Dogs are outside playing and barking. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Here we are. Pulling in. There we go. Uh, where are we going to park? Where are we going to park? Mm, don't run out of the road, people. Oh, I think we'll pull in right over here. Yippee. There we go, and you can buy a fire pit for, I don't know, $600 that you can make, probably. Charlene's probably making those in her sleep. The stuff at the Home Depot. <laughs> Sorry, Charlene, you're an easy target. You're killing everybody with those gardens, okay? You should at least show one dying garden to people, okay? Just have a, Just go to somebody else's house and just say, Look guys, I don't have to do everything perfectly. This is my dying garden. Just take your neighbor's dying garden. Make people feel a little bit better. All right, here we go. They have some, there's like the Amish built kind of wooden furniture and stuff. And see these, those troughs that have no bottoms? Those, they're using those for raised beds. And you know what? I had a coupon, I'm gonna see if it works to get one on Amazon for like 29 bucks because these are like well over $100. So I didn't know anything about it, but mm, it's a good thing. I'm still in the car. I don't know what I'm doing. In the, okay, I'm out of the car now. All right, now those are the cards. Okay, I would like to have this on because the gravel sounds really crunchy and very ASMR underneath my feet, but there is such wind noise, it would have killed you. Okay, here I am checking these out, trying to find out which ones were the ones I had. And no, definitely not these. They were not, they didn't, no, that's not it. Mm -mm. This, let me see, mm, might be that. I thought it was a chrysanthemum daisy, but these are the only ones they have. It's a little bit upset about that. I did pick up, oops, two, and and I hope my other ones come back. I see a couple of stalks and they're perennial and they're hardy, so hopefully they will come back. Looks like Jimmy cuts them off with the weed whacker. He does that almost every year and he still never remembers about it. Okay, lots of um, shrubs and trees, bushes, flowers, perennials, annuals, herbs. There's some water plants there. Oh, 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 the turtle. See, our first turtle of the day. Oh, now these are some water plants. Mm -hmm. Water lettuce, water lettuce, and water hyacinth. Oh, there's a fish.
Okay, we're going to go in the greenhouse now. It's like a sauna in here. But this is where I got those washboards. Of course, I bought them all. This is where I found the wash thingies. It is like a sauna, an absolute sauna in here. I think I smell things baking. I'm serious. Ow. Oh my gosh, look, the turtles. No wonder I had that dream. Gotta get out of here. Alrighty, out of there now. There's a gnome. Hi, gnome. gnome. Alright, walking around. Loads and loads of perennials and... Oh. Still trying to find a bigger pot of those. Daisies are ones that say chrysanthemum daisies. I thought that's what mine said. Let's go up here. All right, back to the daisies again. I'm gonna look at them. I'm gonna look them over again. I keep looking them over. This is what I do, you know. Like, oh boy, overanalyze things. And then once you decide on the ones that you're getting, you've got to decide which one to get, you know. So, all right. Well. Mm. I'm still not going to decide at this point just to give you a heads up on this. I'm just going to keep walking around these, checking the leaves, trying to remember which one looks most like what I had. I actually had two things of them. I don't know if they're growing in the other section, but the one section I had, they always grew really, really well. And they may still be there. You know, as soon as you take the rocks away, they'll get the sun, they'll come up. And there are still a few, like maybe Jimmy chopped them a little bit with the weed whacker and they'll grow up. I don't know. We'll see. Hope so. All right. I'm thinking at this point, I'm probably going to have to get a cart to pick them up. But I'm just going to look at some other stuff here. All right. Um, hmm. Lots and lots of choices. All right, so, ouch, there's a deer. Oh dear, another deer, oh dear. And more aisles. I wish I could leave the crunching gravel in it. Sounds so ASMR, it's the crunching gravel. And so they have lots of shrubs and stuff. And I was very impressed with the selection, but I wish that the daisies would have been a larger something would have said chrysanthemum daisy. There's a swing that's also Amish made, I'm sure. It certainly looks like it. But back to um, the flowers, the perennials and stuff. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look at these, the plumy things, right? I have so much of that, isn't that? That doesn't ever come up sometimes again. Sometimes I plant perennials and I just they just don't come up again. And I plant the same ones over and over and over again. And then other times I have ones that come up beautifully. I thought this was bamboo. I'm like, what? But it was um, a tick seed or something. That looks like a dogwood flower almost, right? Building on a dogwood tree. We used to have dogwood trees in New Jersey. Okay, so I'm going to look at the herbs. Look at that. Charlene's probably like, yep, got that, got that, got that. I just put that in. Sorry, Charlene. We do love you, Charlene.
Here's some garden statues and things. Charlene's like, Charlene likes Asian things, but she might like that frog, or is that a fish? I'm not sure. There's a bench over there. Charlene would probably like that. I don't know. Oops, there's my hand. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm hiding the camera. I'm afraid that somebody's going to tell me to stop filming, people looking at me. I still struggle with that a little bit because I'm a very shy person. Well, I was. People have a hard time believing that now, but I'm telling you, I was painfully, painfully shy. I still feel a little self-conscious with the video camera at times. It's better if I have someone with me. I'm not so so scared, but by myself, I just feel like someone's going to tell me, stop filming. Like Sonia, like I really thought she was getting yelled at in that supermarket. I know a lot of you thought too. And she was like, no, she wasn't yelling at me. She was telling me, she was giving me something to wipe my hands. Here's I am looking at the sage. Now you see this sage here. Okay. This was like way more sage than I needed. So I said, well, I'm going to try to get a smaller, you know, pot of sage. And... I was looking over here. This is where I got my patchouli. You guys said, where did I get my patchouli? Look at these nice little um, ornamental designs there, right? Lots of geraniums. Geraniums. So I was asking her, but she's like, is that the Bonnie sage? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, I don't handle the Bonnie, but I think it's just different varieties. And I'm like, but what if I want to make like sage butter or something like that? And she's like, well, you could use any kind. So I'm like, Okay, so it's not any different? She's like, no, it's just the leaf. So I don't know. I got this one that looked the best. I, I'm not sure what's going on there, but who knows, right? I don't. And we, I, I just picked it up. So then they have more of this stuff, these furnishings. They have the barrels. Those are the wood barrels. They have the, the resin ones. They have the lighter colored ones and the darker colored ones. They have this stuff here that said Memorial Day. It's all you know, about uh, the military, honoring the military. There's lots of jeans and Carhartt stuff and cowboy hats and boots and all kinds of things to use when you're working. Kids' clothes and life jackets, boating stuff. There's a big tote that says life jackets flower kind of look like Shmita's, um arrangement that she took from the VA hospital. Kids clothing, Carhartt, that was Carhartt stuff. Lavender and yellow and interesting things. There's a plaid, yeah, down over here. There's some muck boots and things like that, different colors. These are way more expensive, $110 than the tractor supply. But these are the Muck brand. Tat Tractor supplies the Muck brand as well. It's light and very pricey. Here's another one. This is on sale for $82.50. Those are like my kind. I, I like the flowery things like that. I don't think I've ever showed you my Doc Martens. Uh, here's a belt. I'm like, oh, this belt looks nice. But it was that was $80, guys. Um, I thought I'd wear that when I go square dancing, which I do quite frequently. Um, so I'm going down here. You see the, the wood floors on here, and you can just probably, you know, smell what those stores kind of smell like. I mean, it's a, it's a good kind of smell. It's not bad and nasty, but it's, you know, like they've got that old-fashioned wood floor here. They put like, I'll try to put like a new fitting room kind of thing in there, right? Try to spiff it up a little bit. And there's some stuff for cows. I don't know what those things are. I don't think those were the, uh, here's some socks, some what are the wigwam socks or something, those wool socks, my daughter knit socks, so I don't need any of those. Boots, gloves. Going through here, oh, all kinds of weed whacker supplies, right? And weed whacker strings. That, what is that thing? Sand off. You need a special thing to get the sand off, off of your feet. And those are boots and stuff. Oh, those are cute. Oh, and those are adorable, right? So cute. Oh, just crazy adorable. I don't know why I'm spending so much time right now. Just right there. I have no idea. All right. Very cute. Lots of boots. See, more boots than, than you know what to do with. Gloves, socks. Oh, look at that. Kiss all day. 
Oh, all I need is coffee and Wi-Fi. Wonderful. Two left feet. That's a horrible name for socks. Two left feet. Some weird swim shoes, some faker Crocs and stuff. Birthday cards, some walking sticks. Sungl oh, no, those are reading glasses. Weber grills. Wear barrel tires when you need a new tire for your wear barrel. Other uh, tires for your tractor, so, um, oil, chainsaw stuff. This is what you find in a, in a farming garden store. All right, seeds. Packets and packets of seeds. There we go. Look, just, I mean, seeds like crazy. Flashlights. Flashlights. Who could use flashlights? Shmita? Weber grills. Uh, charcoal grills. Looks like a mouse up there. I wish I had taken a little more care on that uh, to see that. That would that look neat. Cool. Oh, loofahs. Look at that. Loofah seeds. Can you believe that? Grow your loofahs. Except that I told you they could give you a really bad um, bacteria virus because harbors in there. You don't want to use a, a loofah. I've already gone over that. Oh boy, there's Jimmy's phone in the background. Okay, here's some, I thought those were morning glories. Those were something else. Got a bruise on my arm, yeah, I know that, okay. Um, some more stuff, oh, all right. What's that? I don't know. Maple syrup, you saw that? Real maple syrup, Eddie? Nothing but the best, Clark. Okay, lots of grass seed and stuff down here. You can get lost in the, gra the grass seed, fertilizers, American flags, tiki torches, all kinds of bushels for harvest. There's your trash can there, Joanne Dallas, right there, yeah. And see, here's more of them. There's some with uh, holes for burning. Now we're going to go watch. Woo! We're going to go in the pet supply section. Okay. I thought I was going to get a UV light for the turtle because Jimmy had said they were like 30 bucks. And I looked and it was like 10 bucks there. But then it didn't come with the, the light holder. So that didn't make sense because, the, you know, the lamp. We'll get that for aquatic reptiles. Turtle stuff, aquatic turtle food. Okay, um, lots of turtle stuff there. No, not really lots, but I already have most of that. I was looking at the UV light. Now right here, right about here, I forget that I'm even taking a video and I'm really absorbed in the UV light and I'm probably doing some calculations in my mind, thinking, wait a minute, this looks like a good deal. I don't know, then I, trying to think, then I'm like, wait, it doesn't have a, doesn't have a light receptacle, you know, and I mean, a, the lamp holder, you know? Um, so then I saw one up there and I'm like, wait, that's 30 bucks for that alone. Then that makes it 40. Of course, it's not going to be cheaper here. You know, all these places you want to support local, of course, right? But you're going to pay more than big box store and you're going to pay more than when you get it online. Online, you can get the best price. You truly can. You know, but you have to weigh the difference. What does the convenience mean to you? Now, you may say it's not terribly convenient for me to travel as far as I do to get here, right? You might say that's not really local, but it is when you live out where I live, it is considered local, okay? So, yeah, you have to weigh those those options. You want to support the, um, the farming garden store? You like the farming garden store? Well, then you've got to pay a little more sometimes, you know? Some of the things that you have to do sometimes. All right. And we got uh, PP pads and this looks like small animals, right? Yeah. Seeds for the birds. All right, let's go down here. Some dog beds over here, some other bird feeders, things, wooden ones. Well, these were cute, yeah. Cardinals winter scenes. They weren't on sale, though. I'm like, what are you guys doing? They should be on sale. 
but there's that Martin house that I never get and I always think it's the wrong time of the season to get it I would love to have one though then these bird feeders down over here were on sale but I bought one and it was a no-no feeder and I like it but it was hard to fill I bet you this is the same kind of thing it's a butterfly it's cute but if you have birds you know if you have birds like I do you're filling that all the time and it's probably really difficult and that's probably why they're on sale so that one was like five dollars that one's seven you know I don't know then they have that blue jay bird house that wasn't on sale. It said $19.99. Maybe that is sale. I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine what the regular price is. That is, you know, who knows? Some hooks and various things. And then that was uh, Grandpa's Gus's live critter catcher. And catch your critters. And now your, your critters. Okay. And various bird how uh, bird feeders some shaped like barns lanterns that looks like a, some kind of a rooster it looks like Elmo a little bit all right I'm back in the car now we're going past the Delaware River okay so this is the Delaware River and over on this road here there was a house that exploded it literally exploded an elderly couple owned it. They were out at a party with a friend. Friend drops them off. They invite the friend in for some coffee real quick. Friend says, no, I can't do it. You'll see it. You'll see just a chimney up here, okay? About five years ago, this happened, and the, the, the explosion was felt for miles and miles, and most of the house ended up in that river right there, so really crazy, and um, this is also the part of the river that I have my kids in my blog when we went to look for rocks, this is one that Luke's Merrill started floating downstream. Now you see it's very calm right now. It's not the way it always is. There's usually a, there, uh, you know, a pretty good clip going down here, so you got to be careful. There's many people that drown in this river, and it can be very deceiving. There's the public access. That's where I took the kids. That's where the pictures are when my kids are in the river when I'm getting rocks in one of my blog posts. And that's when Luke's Merrill started drifting downstream. This other mom jumped, you know, right to the rescue because she was downstream a little bit, grabbed it, saved the day there. Thank you, mom, who did that. And I know I thank you that day, but I'm thanking you again in case you're watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, that's the lady. I took her, I got her son's Merrill out of the river. Okay. And we're going down here. I'm going to go down here and turn around. I'll show you the house. You'll see the, the chimney when I go back, but yeah. It was actually, we were in there like shortly after that, a few weeks after that. That's when we were getting the, the rocks. Mm hmm Yeah. It was some kind of a gas explosion, I think. I forget what it was. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to turn around here. And we'll go back down. Okay, that was quick, right? I turned that car right around, whipped it right around. I'm good like that. And we're going back down the road now. So what was I gonna, there was something else I was gonna say about the river. Yes, yeah, so that guy was glad because they were, they were killed in the blast. So that guy that said, no, I don't wanna stop in for the coffee. You know, I mean, he feels terrible, right? That his, his friends are killed, but he's saying, oh, it could have been me too, right? Just over a cup of coffee. You know, maybe he just didn't feel like coffee that night and it saved his life. All right, so let's go down here. You're going to see the public access again. There's many parts of the Delaware where you have public access. We have lots of other rivers, too. The Beaver Kill, the Willowy Mock. You can go in the mall and look for stones and things. Lots of public access for fishing and boating. Delaware Canoe Regatta also on here. Here's the public access. My brother once took our beagle to the, in the uh, regatta. The canoe tipped over, but they all made it to shore. Amazing. That beagle didn't like the water, but if we took a boat out on the lake and nobody else was left in the house, the dog would swim out to the boat. I don't know why she, where she thought we were going. There's no outlet or anything, but she would freak. So you'd have to make sure she was completely closed in if, you, if we all went out in a boat. Otherwise, we were afraid she would drown. She never did drown, never. Okay. So here's, here's the river. Very calm today. Very calm. Not always like that. All right, so let's keep going. Um, 
down this road, and Jimmy's yeah. in the background, yeah, and making noise and making beeping sounds. So here we go. Uh, let's see. We're going to see the, I believe the chimney is coming up right here somewhere soon of the house that exploded. Let me see. Um, should be somewhere here. Let me see. Not there. Not there. I think it's coming up. I have to keep looking with you. Pretty sure it's coming up now. Um, no, we must have passed it back there. Did you see a chimney back there? Okay, well, what, the chimney's back there. Go back there, it'll be like, a well, where's Waldo? You can tell me where it is. Here's this bridge, here's a fun fact on it. This is where Jimmy and I shared our first kiss. How romantic, isn't it lovely? Over this beautiful stretch of the Delaware. Yes, indeedy. And that's the other side. Okay. Beautiful clouds. Yes. Uh, blue sky. Here we go. Woman doing her walking and she's reading her mail as she's, as she's doing, she's a multitasker. So, um, I'm pretty sure she was jogging earlier. So I don't know. She got some, she can do some reading, walking and, um, running. That's a great. This is kind of a western town, so you'll see as we turn the corner here, there's the train uh, track that goes there, and I don't know if you call that a train depot or something. Let's go up here. You see this sort of western look to the town, right? Um, right away, we're going to turn over here. We're going to go over the train tracks and see the western hotel. Okay, so it gives you the western feel right and see the building next to it with that thing on the top of it right western feel of course called the western hotel so we go up here this is that building right there that you see oops i see my camera fell okay then i straightened it out and this was it oopsie okay whoa this is the, the brew, brewing company that's all been refurbished that was really i mean they they brought that back from the dead okay so that was nice. And then I was trying to go over here to show you the river from another vantage point, but it didn't work out so well. I don't think it did. I haven't seen it yet. So let's see. All right, let's go down here. I will show you our private hospital. You remember the private hospital? I told you go in there, there's nobody there and it's wonderful. You can get in and out of there in just a jiffy. Stitches, no problem. Thought I had a blood clot once during the middle of the night, went there and it turned the lights on for you. When I had the panic attack that the contractor gave me, went in there, I was the only one there. It's great for a germaphobe. You're the only one there. It's your private hospital. And my friends work there as nurses, so it's wonderful. All right, I don't know why it seems like I'm stopping there. I'm not stopping. Oh, I think I was gonna, no, I didn't. No, here's the hospital, okay, look own private hospital. Watch how many cars in the parking lot. I am not joking. This hospital is open, guys, okay? This is open. You're the only one there. You can quickly get treated. Let's see. Here's the staff parking lot. Let's see. You thought I was kidding, right? There we go. Now that, that don't be silly. That's probably one patient that's in there. I am serious, guys. Okay, this is your own private oasis of a hospital. This is for the just to live here. You don't have to deal with all the sick people and waiting in enormous amounts of time. Now, this is an annex, okay, but it's a full service emergency room if you need to go there. So, yeah, well, I don't know if it's full, you know, for whatever you need. There is the bigger hospital, but you're going to be waiting a long time. All right, so this is a little, um, even my nurse friends call it just a little secret uh, piece of a little secret oasis of health okay um over there there's a development up there actually i was going to buy a house up there build a house up there before i built at the lake yeah i wasn't originally going to build at the lake that's another video as joanne dallas would say all right let's turn we're going to go back down this road I'm trying to see if i can find a 
better way to show you the the river uh, and, I, and I really couldn't because I was driving the car and it was di it was difficult and well, we're just gonna zoom down here and see what's going on usually you're up really high at this point you can look down into the river a lot of times you see eagles flying we'll just drive down here You know, those simu I, did I tell you about the simulators? Yeah, if you're sitting in there and it feels like you're on a roller coaster, you're really on there. Oops, there was something on the side of the road. What was that? Right along. Yes, here, Jimmy complaining over there. That's a defunct old restaurant. Zoom in. I'm, I'm still here, guys. I have a headache. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. I felt like we just did a little twist. It was actually the camera. What is that? Oh, that's my hand. That's my Charlie Brown shirt. Oh. Yeah, I'm wearing the Peanuts game today. Oh, there it is again. Oh, I'm holding the camera. Oh, see? That's not really not, not supposed to do that. Okay, here. Now you could see, because uh, I'm trying to bring it up to show you the river down over this overpass, but it didn't work well. Okay, it did not work well. And then I remember the seminary that I'm going to show you like right in just one second. Oh, now my wheel's in the way. Oh no, come on wheel, get down. You can't see it? Oh my goodness. Maybe I didn't get to it yet. There's a really big, great shot of the seminary up there. Used to be an old seminary. It is now a job core which I don't know what the heck that is it's like a school slash something else rehabilitation for people with older youth or something with issues and maybe we see it over here better it really I mean it was a great place I went there when it was a seminary they had this big outdoor like slate pool filled with koi at the time koi weren't you know all the rage they are now a lot of people didn't know about them we called them big giant goldfish and we're just amazed we had lunch up there and then started to feed them some bread scraps or something I'm hoping I know I got a shot of it when I was driving no I this is crazy everything I think I have a shot of well that's where the side entrance to it was. Maybe you saw it. I didn't. If you did see it, let me know. It's like right up stone. Maybe you did, because I might have been staring at my peanut shirt, and you might have been actually looking where you were supposed to. And I've seen it. Let me know if you saw this seminary. It's a big stone built way up high. It'd be like right in the center of the road, but up way high. All right, now I thought I was going to take you, I thought I was going to take you another way, but I didn't go far enough for you to see another shot of the river. Instead I turned, but I take you by a lake, okay, another lake. So, I mean, I don't know. I did get an email from someone saying that she lived on a lake three miles from me. I wasn't exactly sure what she was talking about. And so it could be one of the lakes that I'm showing you soon here but no we have got to travel a while to get to that okay jimmy's going to town with the beeping that's not it's not that is i just want everybody to know that's not a um 
smoke detector that needs a battery. He's beeping something with the drone, okay? So we're flying along here. I have a really bad headache. It's almost like a sinus headache now. I don't know why, cause, but now it's like my one side of my face. You know, when you get that sinus, it's not, my nose is not snuffy at all. It's just, last year at this time, I got the worst allergy and I had this horrible cough. I felt great. I was swimming and stuff, but I had this horrible cough from the allergy. Now I don't know what is going on. Like I'm not stuffy or anything, but I just have this pain right across my sinus on the one side of my face there. And I have pain on that side of my head. I've been waiting for Jimmy to get me something to take because he said he knew where it was. But he keeps forgetting. All right, so now it's so bad. Yeah. He found me remembered. Okay, so we're riding along on the curves. You see how well they take care of the roads here? Hence the, this is falling rock zone. You're seeing the signs because they're, they're blasting through rock for these roads. That's how they put them in. So you're going to see falling rock zones all over the place. And you have the lovely upkeep of the roads. So where are your tax money's going? Here. Um. Yeah. Okay. No, I just want the. T I've got this. I, have to I did. I said I have some. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. That's a defunct school. They put a merger in, so that school is just basically defunct. There's been a lot of rumors about what they were going to open there. Somebody bought it. You know those stupid rumors, right? Hardly ever true. And so it just sits there, a defunct school. They built new schools. So we're going along. We're going along. I might insert some, some music at this point. I don't know. You just, I don't know why the dog is barking at something. It's crazy. Why is Delilah barking? Probably she hears a beep. Uh, she hears a beep and she's barking. Okay. There's a Camaro for sale somewhere over here, an older Camaro. Did you, maybe you passed it, I don't know. If you're interested, I, I don't have the number. But um, maybe it wasn't a Camaro, it might have been a Trans Am. I think it's right here. Yeah, right there, see it? It's for sale, in case anyone's interested. Oh, now I gotta get the dog. I don't know why the dog is doing that. Okay, I can't believe it's 741. I want to take a walk around the lake, and I wanted to do some power washing. Wow. I thought this was going to be a quick video. I don't know where I am right now. I'm driving here. What do I, where am I? Where am I? I was going to decide to take you guys. There's that train station there. Um, I was going to take you guys down to see the river, but then I ended up turning before... You get to the spot, isn't that great of me? Yeah, but I do, like I said, make up for it by taking you by a couple of lakes. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was gonna turn here. I decided at the last minute, hence I'm in the other lane. Okay, but I, I saw there was no one coming, you know? All right, so we're going up, up this road. 
This is not a road I normally travel on, right? There is a really nice, and I'm going to go past it really fast. We took pictures here once. There's a state or I don't know what kind of land it is. There's a historic site and, and then you can stand in the river and we took some really nice pictures. It's coming up. It, it's going to be real fast because I didn't realize that it was coming up. There's oak trees there with acorns, which is, is rare for this area. We don't have a lot of oak trees. No, we don't have anywhere we live, but uh, of course we had them in uh, northern New Jersey. So it, it's something I like to see the acorns and stuff. I know a lot of people don't like acorns, but it's somewhere over there. Maybe I missed it already. No, I don't think I did yet. I think that's coming up. It's very quick. There's stone walls and stuff, and then there's one of those historic signs. I think it's somewhere. It's going to be on the left-hand side as you're driving up the road. On your left, okay? Your hand, your left. I'm not sure. Maybe I passed it. No, I don't think I did yet. I think it's coming up. Let's see. I wish I had um, my audio that was here originally because I was telling you stuff kind of sound like a tour guide. Thought maybe, you know, now that I'm doing it over again, you know, the second time we're like, you're rushing through stuff, right? You're not getting the full version of everything. And the dog is just going to town. All right. Jimmy, can you let Delilah out of the house, please? in the other end of the house parking. Yeah, we must have uh, missed it. I don't know. I think we did miss it. Um, it went by pretty quickly. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure. What's it really matter, right? Because hey, you're probably not going there. Um, and I didn't stop long. You know, I just I just went right on by. M another time, I'll try to take you there. I could have gone in there, but I didn't want to go in there alone. You know, too much true crime stuff. Even though, yeah. See that 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 vine that grows along the um, the telephone lines or the electric lines or whatever lines they are. I think that's pretty neat. It's one of those really old-fashioned satellite dishes. You remember those those crazy things? Oh boy, I can't believe people still have them up. Oh look, we'll bring this inconspicuous, bright white satellite dish. This is state-of-the-art technology, folks. Looks like another car for sale. Okay. That's just my kids screaming on the trampoline. No worries. No worries. No one's being killed. Let's see. We might be... This is a... Uh, some type of a pub, that red thing there. I don't know. I don't frequent this area really much. You'll see they, there's rivers usually on each side with there's access to lots of place to find river rock and stuff. Okay. Nothing like a ride in the country, right?
I'm still here. Riding along with my automobile. I think maybe we'll put it on uh, know, double time. All right, what was that shop right home? <laughs> I don't get home delivery. Tell you that. Didn't that say shop right home? That's interesting. Really, really interesting. Okay, so we're gonna be coming up on, I think a bull field. Fairly certain there used to be like pick your own strawberries here years ago. I remember going when my daughter was a little, little baby. Oh my goodness. This town here is so small. No, it was the town before it. The post office is actually part of someone's house, and I am not joking you. The, the town before this one. And that's, that's a small town, right? That lovely right thing right there, that's the town barn. Okay. So we're gonna come upon some more farms and things. Lots of evergreens. Do you see the vine again across the uh, phone line again? Virtual car rides. Beautiful blue sky, no rain today. Beautiful, 85 degrees. Sunny. Sunny. Yesterday. Here come, here come my, my children. See those old barns there? Yeah, when they come down, that barn siding can go for a pretty penny. Oh, the I don't know, they're somewhere. Yes, Daddy, honey. Uh, Tommy, just Tommy. Daddy took them, sweetheart. What did you say? I was driving today. What? I was driving around today. Where? Um, I don't know, in New York. Where's this at? Where? This is this in New York? Right there. I've never been here before. I'm sure you have at one point. At least once, I think. Let me think. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. You, is this near here? Yeah, somewhat. How far is this away from here? Oh, I don't know. An hour? Not, not that far. 40 minutes? No, probably maybe 30, I don't know, 25. Something like that. Here's another old barn too. And this is like I said, when these barns, they, the barn siding can be sold for a pretty penny there when they come down or they take them down or whatever. People like to put that up. Old barn siding. Jimmy's opening squeaky doors. Okay. 
And we're driving around. Nice blue sky, 85 degrees. We're going to come upon some lakes in a little bit here. This what is, car is this? my car. Why are you driving it? What do you mean when? Why are you driving it? Well, how am I going to get around? How would I get around? On a bike? You think I can drive this fast on a bike? Oh, what, are you just test drivers? Where are you going right now? Test driving? Where are you driving right now? I was driving around. I went to the Delaware Farm and Garden Store, and now I'm just dry. I'm trying to show the people things, the countryside, land, as far as the eye can see is what Ouch. I'm trying to show them. Owie, 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 owie. What happened? Bust my toe. Hmm. Some greenhouses over here. And yeah, this lady, she, she runs a little greenhouse out of her house. I don't know. Farm, whatever. Okay. And we're going to come upon a... That's, that's coming upon a horse farm pretty soon, but I don't think there's any more horses. I think they're trying to sell that horse farm. And then we'll come across a small private airport that used to be See, there's the old horse farm, that big barn right there. But you'll see the, the grass. There's no horses here. I think they've taken the horses and they moved away. I don't know if they ever sold this yet. I'd have to check on Realtor.com or something. It doesn't look like it's, it's not functioning. And now we're going to come upon a small personal airport, like I said, that used to function back in the day. Now there may be a a personal plane that lands there every so often, but you'll see the big orange uh, balls on the lines what? for the airport. Where is that? Coming who's, up. Who's that? The airport. Watch. This lady over here, she makes some pottery. You see she has a sign that says open. She has a big barn there. Sometimes she has like open Did house Did you days. drive here? Oh, yes, of course. Where Who? is this at? Uh, it's up by the airport now. I'm going to go around the other Where's lake the airport? In, in a minute. Are you going to look, see it? Yeah, right now. See the orange balls? Now you'll see. It's not an airport like you think, Luke. It's a small personal airport that's actually the hangar. The that, that's not field. That's not the Villa Roma. Hmm? No. Not, not even Is that close. in Villa Roma? Not, not even close to the Villa Roma. Okay. Where is it at? Pennsylvania? Uh, no, we're in New York. See, this is where you're getting a really good... Now the kids are in the car with me. How, how did the kids get in the car? I don't know. But they're in the car with me now. Asking a thousand questions while I'm trying to drive. Okay. Um, where are you going? We're going to, uh, we're going to go around uh, another. Hey, there's a car. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Now we're going to come around. Oops, I'm going to turn here watching it. Ooh, I, I slow it down. Isn't this where I turn? I decided the last minute to turn there. Yep, there I go. Look at me. I'm always making these sharp turns. Okay, we're going to go around Yay! this. Yay! this lake now okay this is another lake i think Crazy. the lady that wrote me a letter maybe this is the lake you're on or it could be the lake after that and there is a, a crystal lake too which is a state lake which always gave me the creeps when i found out you know after the friday the 13th and we once i kind of thought it was the real crystal lake okay so this lake here is a motorboat lake mm -hmm. this is where that picture was taken where my cousin's there and i'm looking in that that uh, bucket of fish that's what's taken on this lake I'll show you exactly where in just a minute yeah this is a motorboat lake the lake the lake beneath that is a motorboat lake and I don't know what crystal lake is I don't think it's a motorboat lake but yeah we they can keep their oil we don't you know have the gasoline motors and let's see now um, okay so we're coming along do you have here. anything in the car to eat no Oh, man. I'm hungry. Uh, now, yeah. Hey, I see a bear. Mm. Okay, now, if you look over here, you could see bits of this lake over here. Keep watching. And we're going to come around. Here you have a better view right there, right there. Okay, we're still going. This is not a lake like the lake I live on that you can walk all the way around in a, in a loop. It doesn't go like that. There's a backside road to the lake and then this road but it doesn't connect the way the one i'm on so you can walk all the way around here we go here's a bigger uh you can Wait, see Mom, I found like, a bag of food 
Yeah, okay. You know, these mint green things. Mm -hmm. I found them in a bag. I guess it's from the water park we went to. Yeah. Okay, there's, you can see the lake. We'll get a better view of the lake, and I'll show you where that picture was mm. taken. Now, up as we come around here, there is a house that I will point out to you that for my whole life I heard was built from a better homes and gardens uh, or good house. Some is that like Huntington? Some no. no. Some kind of uh, plan. My mother always said it used to be pink, and it looked really 60s and mod, and I guess it was the cover of one of those magazines, and it was a kit. Here is that house coming up pretty soon that I'm talking about. Not that one. This one right here. They, they've spiffed it up quite considerably. It used to be very 60s, like, you know, era looking. They've tried to change it up a little now. bit. Okay. Uh, you, all right. Okay. All right. Now we'll turn that picture that I have. Oops. Okay. Is here. You'll see. Um would have been taken here where you see this big building would have been taken like right there on the lawns that's where those cars were like parked in there right there that's where that baby picture somewhere in right in this area okay this is the boathouse uh, cafe or something I don't know what have what's going on with that used to be a tavern and this like little soda pop store kind of thing back in the day and let's see here we go that's the back side of the lake if you go down that road you can go in the back side we're not going to do that now there's another lake up here it's lake florence they started building stuff around this lake condominiums that are totally defunct they had them staged with all Drexel Heritage furniture. They realized they couldn't do that. I mean, this is the most crazy thing ever because it's a reservoir for New York City. So nothing could be built around it. So it's just basically everything is just standstill. These condominiums that were built and furnished everything never went anywhere. You'll see big gates leading to nowhere. There's also like a defunct beginnings of what would have been a shopping mall and it just never went i don't know how they didn't understand that this lake you couldn't build around very odd extremely odd we're coming upon it very shortly here you'll see some gates leading to nowhere they put a lot of money into the project and didn't really check things out okay so it's very odd and whoops there we are we're going sideways now hang on hang on Okay, so we should be coming upon, yeah, see those are some gates to nowhere, you saw that? Okay, okay, here's, here's Lake Florence, this, this is a reservoir. If you look on the opposite side, you'll see the condominiums. All right, so here we go. There is a structure that they actually took down. It was a really nice gazebo that was over here. They actually took that one down. I don't know how long ago, but the condominiums, you see them there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, a rebop. Oh, they they actually do have the gazebo here still. Yeah, it's been a nice place to take pictures and stuff. But um, you see these stone walls, you know, and everything. A lot of money for no purpose. But let's keep going.
Here's some more Gates to Nowhere. Gates to Nowhere. And then over here there was like the beginnings of a shopping mall or something, which was it didn't look like a shop. It looked like a lookout. It was it was like that wood and stuff. It wasn't like a strip mall with, you know, um, just horrible looking. It was very architecturally pleasing and designed. Okay. There's a golf course and a tennis club up here. It's a four-star golf course. Very nice if you are the golfing persuasion. And we're just driving along over here. And our ride will be coming to completion soon. I'm going to leave us off before we I get all the way home. Okay. But um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. And as always, a very nice pleasure to drive along with you on this beautiful Friday in New York State, right? Very close to Pennsylvania. Where we were before was just literally less than three minutes from the border of Pennsylvania. I could have taken you to two states and back again. But that, as Joanne Dallas would say, is another video. We will go into Pennsylvania together. Okay, I'll, I'll take you places. I'll take you places. No problem. And we're traveling right along. And this is going to be the end of our ride, folks. I hope thank you for joining us. Have a great and wonderful day. Please exit to the right. Bye-bye.